we're here on some what look just like cart ruts. Now you might think we're in Malta, but no, we're here in remote India. So here we are at the chariot wheel marks of Krishna, or also known as cart ruts. So this is a really strange place. We're here on some what look just like cart ruts. Now you might think we're in Malta, you might think we're in Sardinia, you might think we're in Spain or Turkey, but no, we're here in remote India, not far from Rajgir and not far from the Cyclopean walls, 40 kilometers of them that stretch around the whole city dating back to 2,500 years. These on the other hand are an anomaly because they're very close to the Cyclopean walls and yet these are what you find in Europe and Malta and places like this. There's at least, what, 100 feet or 35 meters here or so and these are clearly grooves carved in the solid rock. Now, in tradition, this is Krishna's chariot as based on the Mahabharata epic where he goes to war on his way to the city nearby. So how old are these really? I mean, these are just incredible. What do you make of them? Look at these. So let's just take a walk down here so you can kind of get a sense of it. You saw me walking on them, but this is just not something you expect to see. And this is like solid kind of basalt rock here. It's like volcanic. They go all the way down here and they sort of take a corner equally spaced all the way down. This is absolutely incredible. Who could have carved these out? It said that his chariot was going so fast, it was so powerful because it had Krishna on it, that that's how it got into the rock like this. And that's the story, that's how it goes. I mean, look at how smooth that is. That has just been carved out. Wow, if you just look on one side, look how smooth that is. It's like it's been polished. So was there really carts going down here? I mean, they take corners, just like the other ones do. So for those that thought cart ruts were just in a few different areas, now we've got evidence of them in here in rural India. Look how polished this all is, all the way down here. It continues along this whole curve here, and then it kind of stops just down here, but it could go under the ground, it could go under all the dirt here. But some of these are like a foot and a half deep. Some of them look polished. There's even carvings on here somewhere which no one's been able to decipher. So that's what I'm looking for now. So we have the cart ruts kind of going along here, but then just over to one side, you've got this very strange, undeciphered carvings just here. Look at these. If anyone can work out what these say, that would be very interesting to me because these have not been deciphered at all. There's more here. What do people make of these? They're very, very confusing. So these are knee prints of Krishna, apparently, and some indentations, which people say are his hand, his foot. Nothing is really that clear here, to be honest with you. But it's interesting nonetheless. So that's supposed to be just there, right in the middle of the camera shot there. You see them two knee prints, knee imprints. So we've got the cart ruts going along there. And we've got this here as well. So what do you make of these carvings here then? These are fascinating. So someone says they're Pali, Pali, but it's unclear. I mean, no one has been able to decipher these. So I'm gonna hand this over to JJ see what she says because these are definitely something to do with the cart ruts we have yet more carvings just here going along to the far end so with all these carvings amazingly they've got like knee prints 
of Krishna or many other things. But if we look here, we actually have what appear to be footprints carved in the rock. Can you see those? See the shape of them there? I'll put normal size, but I saw one of these at Lapakshi, a giant one. And I'm fascinated by that, the fact you have footprints here. Absolutely amazing, these cart ruts. Blown away by these. It's a real treat. I've been wanting to get to all the cart rut sites around the world. So just realizing this one was actually going to be in an area where I was visiting, thanks to Subhashish Das, I managed to see them. I wanted to see these and others around the world for a long time. We're going to be seeing the ones in Turkey soon. But to see these ones in India, these are a real rarity. I don't know anyone who's come here, really, apart from Subhashish Das. But anyway, let me, know, let me know what you think about these. I mean, the width of them, I should actually, I'm gonna get a little scan of a section so I can get a measurement. Uh, I think that's an important thing to do. And then we'll head out of here. We're gonna be heading over to Barabar Caves, which is our next destination up in the hills around Bodgaya. In fact, what we found here at the cart ruts in India is that they are the exact same width as those in Malta, ranging from about 1.2 meters to around 1.8 meters, averaging 1.4 meters. So this is a very interesting discovery, and it's almost like whatever created the ones in India are virtually the same as the ones we're finding in Malta. I mean, it's just astonishing to think that. I mean, it's almost like it's the same technology or certainly the same idea. I mean, the sections like this, which are completely polished. If you look closely, we'll get some close-ups of this. You can see it's like, you know, this is not limestone. This is not what you find in Malta. This is like basal or diorite, something really really hard stone all the way down and it said i talked to the guide he says these do continue but they've been kind of covered up with dirt and jungle and everything else so these could go on for miles there could be other cart ruts especially when you consider the carvings the footprints the knee prints the cut marks and everything else we find here so i think the difference obviously between cart ruts here and cart ruts in malta the ones in malta are po possibly as old as the temples or older because they're known to go under the water. Here, they're not. They're supposed to be time of Krishna, which is what, the Hindu time, so a couple of thousand years old maybe. But if these are the same technology as what we find in Malta and the same era, then these could be Neolithic. So this could be the time of the megaliths that Subhashish Dash writes about and talks about and visited on this trip. But to see these here is just a real treat. And I urge you, if you get a chance to come to India, you've got to get to these sites. Now, these are all quite hard to get to. None of them are easy to get to. You need a driver, you need to find out the locations, work out a whole plan. To see this single strip of cart ruts is absolute dynamite experience. And I'm fascinated by the fact that it's part of the Mahabharata, one of the old Indian epics of the Vedas, where uh, Krishna himself was said to have rode his chariot and that is what caused these. And we know chariots, stone chariots exist in sites we've already visited. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip to these unique cart ruts here in India. Check out our other videos and we'll see you next time.